Hi friends, this is Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in immunology, allergy and asthma coming to you with this special on Covishield vaccine side effect profile. Friends, I have been asked ever since the vaccination drive began in India by patients, friends, family, colleagues and even sometimes on unknown platform messages, Dr. Roy, what are the side effects of Covishield that we need to be worried about? Now, while any vaccination that you take carries the risk of having some pain in the arm, maybe redness, maybe swelling, maybe a little uh, low-grade fever in some of the vaccinations, Covishield is unique because using a chimpanzee adenovirus, which the human immune system has never seen before, we are capable of mounting a pretty vigorous immune response to that inactivated chimpanzee adenovirus. Now, while we don't have uh, too much data from India and we have some data from the 30,000 participants in the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID vaccine trials, phase 3 trials, we now have some data from the UK where between the 4th of Jan and the 28th of Feb, in that about two month period, almost 17 to 18 million people received the Covishield vaccine. And from those people, we have now data collected very meticulously of people who have reported their symptoms back to the system. And from that, I shall tell you what the top 20 side effects in descending sequence of incidents amongst those 17, 18 million people who got vaccinated. The very first one, friends, is headache. This was reported by over 20,000 people uh, in this vaccination drive. The second was fever and chills in position 2 and 3. And following that came fatigue, which is a feeling of tiredness and nausea. That's right, nausea was a pretty common side effect occurring in almost 10,500 people who got vaccinated in the first two months of receiving this vaccination. The next in line come as myalgia, which is muscle aches and muscle pains. Following that, we have arthralgia, which is joint pains and joint inflammation. And then comes very interestingly dizziness, a feeling of feeling dizzy. Besides this, subsequently in the following levels, we see pain in the extremities, pain in the hands or legs. Pain probably at the site of inje injection is very, very common, but pain in the extremities, in the hands and legs, general pain in the body, vomiting, which is not something that we would see with most other vaccinations, but happened to be present in about three and a half thousand people who got this vaccine. Followed by tremors, which is fine movements of the hands and feet, mostly of the hands. Followed interestingly by um, malaise, just a feeling of tiredness, and lack of interest in doing things followed by an influenza like illness like someone had the flu how you would feel that's the kind of feeling that some of these vaccinees reported a lot of sweating which may or may not accompany having a low-grade fever or having chills or those kind of symptoms diarrhea was interestingly reported by about two and a half thousand people followed by migraine-like headaches. So having a headache is one thing, having a migrainous, a severe migrainous headache is something else. Followed by just a feeling of illness, not being well. And following that, we have symptoms like decreased appetite. We have a feeling of being cold all over in the body. Uh, besides this, there were several other symptoms which were not very common but worth mentioning including palpitations and having a fast heart rate was felt by some people. It's not very clear whether this was because they had a fever and hence it went up or it was independent. Not being able to sleep for a couple of nights after the vaccination. 
having a rash that developed including an urticarial or a hive like rash chest pain and back pain and abdominal pain um having some dizziness just with movement with physical movement postural dizziness and just a feeling of being hot or feeling abnormal so friends these are some of the most reported side effects following covid shield vaccination by the uk data and what i want you all to understand is most of these side effects were transient it was not like the person was not able to function after a couple of days because of these and it clearly goes to show something that we've known about vaccinations which is after you get a vaccination you should take plenty of rest sleep very well at night get good 8 hours of sleep because that really enhances your immune response and makes sure that you get the best possible result from your vaccination and immunization so till the next time stay immune stay safe stay blessed keep exercising keep eating healthy keep getting fresh air sunlight uh keep having good positive thoughts laughter because this is all what will keep your immune system at its best and help you fight off the virus should you happen to cross paths with it take care stay safe god bless us all